Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So I'm gonna be showing you guys free stuff that smaller beauty YouTubers get in PR. And I thought this would be a fun twist on these PR hauls. You guys have probably seen them before. Bigger YouTubers who get tons of PR. They have the boxes stacked high in the background. They open all their boxes and show you everything they got. And usually they get like tons and tons of stuff. So I thought, wouldn't it be so funny if I took this video and put my spin on it and show you guys what a smaller beauty YouTuber gets in the mail? Because a lot of times my stuff can be different things or different from what the bigger YouTubers get. And um, I thought that would kind of be interesting for you guys. I obviously don't have as much stuff as a bigger YouTuber, but I am so grateful for the PR that I do receive and to all the brands who send me um, free stuff. I truly am grateful for it. You guys want to see what a smaller beauty YouTuber under 30,000 subscribers gets in the mail and PR, then just keep on watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not yet. It's the first link down below in my description box. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. Let's get into it. So I have them back here and some of this stuff is not even like beauty products. You, you guys will see what I'm talking about. So this first big box is from a brand called Power Up Snacks. And basically it is the most yummy trail mix ever and you're probably like how the heck does a beauty youtuber get trail mix um i don't know you guys sometimes i just get asked to be sent things like this and i'm like sure why not i mean i do like trail mix i do snack on things throughout the day especially when i'm editing so i thought this would be kind of cool and if i did like it then i would mention it to you guys they sent me literally all their flavors and i do have a favorite okay so this is my favorite and no this is not sponsored it's just literally stuff I got in PR. Um, this is my favorite. I eat this all the time. Um, this is the Power Up Body Boosting Antioxidant Mix. I was eating this a lot when I was sick because it said it's body boosting. So it has raisins, dark chocolate, walnuts, blueberries, pecans, and cranberries. It is so good, especially when you mix the little walnuts with the chocolate and the raisins. I love raisins. What else do we have? We have the High Energy Trail Mix. This one has pineapple, banana chips, coconut, cranberries, walnuts, cashews, and papaya. And the first package I got of these, my family was over for Christmas. So they went through all the bags and they were like <laughs> taking different ones. Okay, so this one looks really good too. It's almond cranberry crunch. And this is almonds, cranberries, peanuts, and raisins. Definitely gonna snack on this one. I love almonds. Okay, the next one is nature's mix. This one looks really nice and fruity. It has raisins, cranberries, peanuts, pineapple, papaya, almonds, and cashews. Next one is the Summer Trails Mix. So I guess this is more of a summertime snack. Of course, you can eat it whenever you want, but it has cranberries, cashews, peanuts, almonds, blueberries, and mango. More in here, you guys. This is the Goji Power Trail Mix. Oh, this one looks so good. It has goji berries, coconut chips, walnuts, cranberries, pumpkin seeds, and cashews. This one, I am very excited to taste and see if I like it because I love coconut. The last trail mix in the box is this Mega Omega trail mix. This one looks really good too. It has walnuts, dried mango, almonds, cranberries, and pumpkin seeds. So that's my trail mix haul for you guys. Um, if I can find the website, I will link it down below if you guys want to check out. I actually saw some the other day at, I think it was Marshall's, and I was like, oh my god, it's a trail mix that I got in the mail. So um, yeah, I snack on these all day long they are super yummy okay, next i have this box i did open this box because um i had to film a video on one of the items that was in here but i'm going to show you guys everything that i got anyways so this is a package i got from josie moran cosmetics and this is the first time i ever received anything from josie moran i've heard so many things about her products throughout the years so to actually get stuff from her was super exciting. I've always wanted to try her argan oil and that's what she's famous for is infusing argan oil into her products and that's kind of been her whole brand was based off the argan oil craze. So the first thing I'm showing you guys is this Josie Moran Argan Moonstone Drops. This is her makeup priming and highlighting oil and I actually was able to pick all these products out myself from like a list of her stuff she has in her range. So I thought this one was really interesting. It says you could wear alone as a moisturizer on top of serums and creams. You can use it as a makeup primer. I actually used it today as a makeup primer. You can mix it in with your foundation, your serums, and your moisturizer to add radiance. You could use it as a highlighter. You could use it on your lips, under your eyes, as a body oil, a hair oil. So it's like a multi-purpose product. 
which also is kind of like her regular argan oil. So this is what the bottle looks like. It has like that dark amberish color. You have to shake it up before you use it. And the packaging is so pretty. It has this like holographic sleeve on it. So with the dropper, ooh, it has like a pearly prism. You won't be able to see it when I swatch it because it doesn't have really like a highlighted look to it. It's more of a very, very subtle glow type of thing. I'm excited to keep on using this as a moisturizer. It will definitely be good for the winter time. I don't know if I would necessarily use this as a highlighter, but I wanna keep on using it and testing it and see how it pairs with different foundations if I put it into my moisturizer. Definitely know that I am gonna be testing this out and letting you guys know what I think about this. Okay, so I've already been using this, but here's the box. This is the Josie Moran 100% Argan Oil, and this is her organic moisturizing oil. This is like her famous product. You use this for anything. You can use it in your hair, you can use it as a moisturizer, you can use it on your cuticles, over your body, hands, anything. It is a multi-purpose moisturizer. And what I like about this is that it absorbs so nicely into the skin. I've been using it for a couple days now, testing it out. And I don't find my face to be greasy with this on. So, so far I've been really enjoying this oil. Okay, so next I got the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil Beauty Butter. I think this video is going to go up after my review of this foundation. I have some type of feelings about this foundation. You guys will see if you saw my previous video. If it is up, I will link it down below. But um, this is like a whipped cream foundation. I'll just let the review speak for itself. You guys can go watch that if you want to hear all my thoughts on it. Next up is a highlighter. It's the Josie Moran Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer. And this is a gold liquid highlighter. I'll do a swatch here so you guys can see. I also wore this in the video I filmed with the foundation. So it's more of like a natural subtle golden kind of glow. Um, it's not going to be the most blinding highlight you've ever tried in your life. But I think it would also be pretty to mix in with foundation. This is supposed to be a ultra hydrating argan oil moisturizer. Rub some into my hand here to get a feel for how it feels. Oh, it feels really good. It says that it absorbs really well into the skin. It leaves your skin looking juicy and supple. It nourishes and protects the skin and it soothes. It has shea butter cucumber, watermelon seed oil, and it is safe for all skin types. Okay, and then lastly, I have the Josie Moran Whipped Mud Mask. This also had really good reviews. That's why I picked this out. It is a hydrating and detoxifying treatment. It has Moroccan clay, and it's supposed to rejuvenate and tone your skin. So let's see what this looks like. Ooh, okay. So it has these little, like, exfoliating beads in it. Maybe I will try this tonight as a mask. I love trying out new masks. Thank you so much to Josie Moran for sending these products over to me. Okay guys, let's move on to the next box. Just gonna grab this from back here. Okay, so I'm gonna open this one up. There's one product in here. Okay, so this is from Madison Reed, and I feel like a lot of people don't really know about that brand. Madison Reed is like a hair dye company, so they have like semi-permanent hair dyes, they have permanent hair dyes and they have like color glosses. So you guys know I have like ombre on the ends of my hair even though you can never see it. So they sent over their color reviving gloss. So this is for cool violet beige tones and this is called Crema. So they have another shade that's more for like warmer tones. I decided to get this one and I'm gonna do an Instagram tutorial using this product. It counteracts like brassy yellow tones and it makes your hair look more cool and it has keratin, argan oil, ginseng extract to condition and add shine so i am really excited to try this out i always use purple shampoo in my hair to counteract the brassy tones because especially when you have my hair color it's really easy for it to get brassy and i like my hair to have more of like a light blonde cooler tone to it but thank you so much to madison reed for sending over your gloss i am so excited to try this out i'm always looking for a way to make my ombre look super healthy super shiny and really like cool tone and grab the next box over here so this one is from a carity and they reached out to me about their products and oh my gosh i need something to cut this open with let me get a scissor let's open it up beauty without limits is their slogan oh there's a brush in here too i didn't even see this Ooh, it's a crease brush e31 eye brush take a closer look at this i love brushes 
Okay, so it's a synthetic crease brush. Definitely gonna be using this. I cannot get enough crease brushes. I go through them like crazy. And let's see what the palette looks like. Okay, so this is the outer packaging. This is their Nudes and Rudes palette. Bring this up. Ooh, oh, this is so pretty, you guys. Neutral girls, dream come true right here. Look at all those neutral shades. I'm in heaven. Okay, let's do some swatches. This one right here is calling my name. It's called Unicorn. Light Frosty Pink. That's really pretty. Hopefully the camera picks it up. Let's do this shade right here, Glitz. It's like a yellowish gold shade. Super pretty, would also be nice as a highlighter. Let's do one of the darker shades. This one right here is called Lilo. It's like a matte brown. So that looks pretty decent. That one looks nice too. And this one right here, I want to swatch. It's called Fairy. Ooh, that is so pretty. Really nice pigmentation from what I can see from the swatches, but the true test will be on my eye. Maybe I'll do an Instagram tutorial using this and the crease brush, but I love all the neutral shades in here. I like that you get a mix of mattes and shimmers, and this is something that I definitely could use on an everyday basis. Thank you so much to Carity. I'm very excited to try out your shadows for the first time. And I'm gonna grab this package right here. This is from a brand called Juno & Co. So it says beauty products starting at $1. Open this up, really cute box, it says hello gorgeous. It says stop overpaying for makeup. It says after 10 years in the beauty industry working at Ipsy and Ulta, we saw that beauty is not entirely personal but incredibly overpriced. We spent months working with the same factories that manufacture products for high-end brands to curate Juno & Co. By cutting out the middleman, we can offer prestige materials at just a fraction of the higher-end cost. That is so cool. I really like that. I like that they're trying to do something that is more affordable for everyone, you guys know a lot of my channel is based off of like budget beauty finds and things like that. So this might be a really cool brand for you guys to check out. So inside here we have brushes and sponges. I already took the tops off the brushes, so I'll show you guys um, what they are. They came in these little brush sleeves, which I like to keep um, for when my brushes are drying. So we have here the Juno & Co ES05 brush. It's like a slanted powder brush and they feel so soft oh my goodness they're synthetic and very soft this is the es06 brush this looks like a flat fluffy shader brush so i could use this for like highlighting the brow bone has more of a stiffer feel to it but still pretty soft then this is the es02 i just wish they put the names of the brushes on here like Slanted powder because I just feel like it's helpful for more helpful for beginners another really soft one This looks like a nice powder brush. Then we have here a flat top foundation brush. This is the ES01 It has like a domed Kind of look to it. It's not completely flat like other foundation brushes. I have it, you know comes out a bit So that's cool. Don't have anything like that and then ooh, a fluffy fan brush So this might be nice for some highlighter. This is the ES04 then we have here, looks like a blush brush maybe. This is the ES03. Then they send over two of the Juno & Co sponges. So this is the Juno Fusion Sponge. Let's take this out. I wanna see how this feels because I can always tell usually. Ooh, it feels like velvet. Wow. It says less product waste, more even application. It has this like flocked velvety feel to it. It has a nice little flat edge right here, a flat belly, and then the rounded bottom like a regular beauty sponge would have. So I went on the Juno & Co website because I wanted to read a little bit more about the sponge. So it's only $4, so affordable. And it says it's a combo of a blender sponge and a makeup brush, which is really, really cool. From what I can see on their website, all the brushes are $2. So I'll link it down below in case you guys want to check it out because I know a lot of times Everyone asks what's like a really affordable makeup brush and these feel really nice. Okay, then we have the last box. I'm gonna reach back here and grab it. It's from a brand called Kula. So they're at Ulta, they're at Sephora. I have really heard great things about their stuff. So let's open this bad boy up. Fun goodies in here. I'll show you guys inside. Okay, so the first thing I'm pulling out is this Kula 
mineral sunscreen this is in matte tint and it is a mineral bb cream and it doesn't have a color or anything so i guess it's a universal color it has spf 30 it is cruelty free and it says farm to face so it is a light matte tint that balances skin tone let's open this up oh how cute is this i really like the blue packaging super excited to try this out always looking for a good on the go bb cream something i could just slap on maybe on like a saturday morning if i'm going to run errands or something this is nice I've heard lots of good things about this brand. I feel like this is something that's gonna hopefully be really good for my skin. What else do we got? We have the Kula Daydream Mineral Primer. How cute is the ombre packaging? I love it. It says featuring a bouquet of iris, white lily, and honeysuckle, honeysuckle plant stem cells. I can't say that. Um, so it's a SPF 30 mineral primer. Never tried, I don't think, a primer with SPF before. Very pretty packaging. Let's look at the bottle. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Let's see if I can pump some out on my hand here. It has like a clear tint to it. Hmm. It doesn't really smell like a floral. I was thought it was going to smell like, which is good because I don't really like too strong of a floral scent in my product. It's really nice on the skin, feels really smooth, but of course you guys know I'm gonna have to test it out on my face and see how it reacts with my skin and my foundation. We have here a lip product. This is the Kula Nude Beach Tinted Mineral Lip Lux. This is SPF 30. It says it has a caramel scent. Ooh, let's see what this color looks like. This will be really great in the summer for when I go to the beach and I need a lip balm with SPF in it. Ooh, it has a really nice scent to it. I do like the caramel. So it is just like a very neutral pink shade. I think that will be super nice when I don't want to wear like a lip product to the beach. I just want something I can put on really easily that has sunscreen in it. I really like the packaging on this. So pretty. Definitely going to be my go-to beach lip moisturizer. I'm obsessed with lip balms, lip moisturizers, lip exfoliators. So I'm hoping that I'm going to really like this one as well. I am always looking for a way to moisturize my lips because they are super dry and peely. The only thing with SPF in lip balms is sometimes when you lick your lips, a little bit can get in your mouth and the taste drives me crazy. But I'm hoping since this is caramel scented, that isn't going to happen. The last thing in here is the Kula Makeup Setting Spray. I heard this is amazing. It has peony leaf, juniper berry and phoenix leaf stem cells and hyaluronic acid sounds super bougie and it has spf 30 in it i don't think i've ever used a setting spray with spf in it not that i can recall and i love setting sprays i have tons of them i love trying out different ones so hopefully this one will work out well. I will definitely keep you guys posted. I'll use it in a video. So thank you so much to Kula for sending over these amazing goodies. Very excited to try them out. Okay guys, so that is it for my very first PR haul of free stuff that smaller beauty YouTubers get in the mail. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. If you liked it, I can do more like this as long as I have enough PR packages to make a whole video out of. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It is going to be down below. Thank you guys as always for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!